Today, let's learn about lizards. All lizards have scales, and their bodies have tails. Scales are the tough outer layer of skin that all reptiles have to protect them from predators and from drying out. The Mexican beaded lizard gets its name from the bony scales it has that look like beads. You can make a picture of a beaded lizard by drawing a lizard shape and then filling it in by tapping your marker onto the paper to make dots that look like the beaded scales. Lizard tails can protect them against predators too. Some lizards, like anoles and skinks, can drop their tails if they get grabbed by a predator so that they can scurry away. And some lizards, like green iguanas, can even regrow their tails. Most have four legs, and many lay eggs. You heard me right, only most lizards have four legs. This might look like a snake, but it's actually a legless lizard called a sheltopusic. If you look closely, you'll see that they have an ear hole, which lizards have, but snakes don't. When it's time to have babies, many lizards, like this collared lizard, lay eggs. This spring, the zoo's collared lizards had eight eggs, which were kept warm in an incubator to keep them safe until they hatched into tiny baby lizards. Some kinds of lizards give live birth, which means the babies come straight out of the mother's body, like these Chinese crocodile lizards that were born in 2019. If you want, pause the video to count how many babies there were. Lizards may climb or swim some of the time. Geckos are a kind of lizard that are amazing climbers. They can even climb up or down slippery glass. They have special toes covered in tiny hairs that help them grip onto things and then let go when they want to move. That's perfect for geckos that live up in trees, but Chinese crocodile lizards spend a lot of their time in water. They can stay underwater for quite a while, swimming to find the snails and worms and other creatures they eat. Lizards can be very bright or hide out in plain sight. Male collared lizards are a beautiful shade of blue, especially during the time of year when they want to catch the eye of a female lizard. While some lizards are colored to stand out, others have coloring that helps them blend in, like this leaf-tailed gecko that's colored just like the lichen and moss on a tree branch. When it's warm, lizards will bask in the sun, but some hide away until winter is done. Lizards and other reptiles are ectothermic, that means they can't keep their body at the same temperature all the time. They can sit in a sunny spot to get warm or crawl under a rock or into a burrow to cool off. And lizards that live in a place with cold winters will find a place to hide and slow down their bodies or brumate until it warms up in the spring. All of these wonderful, interesting features make lizards some of my favorite creatures. <laughs>